Hey guys, it's Morella. So today I'm giving you a tutorial on this look I am wearing using the ColourPop My Little Pony collection, which is the most adorable collection that they've come out with by far, in my opinion. I love this palette. I love all of the colors. I actually used almost all of them in this tutorial, I think. I only did not use four colors. You'll see while I'm doing my makeup how blendable they are and how creamy and smooth they go on, how they're not patchy, the mattes are amazing, the shimmers are beautiful. ColourPop has just really outdone themselves. Now it is October and I am giving you Halloween looks, but I thought that this look could kind of go either way. It's both wearable and also could be worn for like I don't know, a fairy costume or like a princess costume or a pony costume, you know, whatever kind of cute little thing that you're going to be. A unicorn, who knows, honestly. I feel like you can wear this look for any like really cute and girly costume. So it doesn't only need to be an everyday wearable look and it doesn't only need to be a Halloween look. It can honestly go either way. But I tried to perfect this look. I wore it like four times before I made this tutorial so I could be sure that it was exactly what I wanted to give you guys. And I love it. The awesome thing about the collection is that it's super affordable. So I also tried to make this entire look very affordable. I've used maybe two high-end products and the rest is all ColourPop or Drugstore. So if you're ready to see how to get this look, let's get started. All right, first I am starting with Smashbox Primerizer. This is my favorite primer I've ever used, especially since I'm more on the dry side these days. Ever since I cleared up like my hormonal acne breakout that I had, my skin has never really gone back to being oily. Next, I'm going to take the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. This is my favorite drugstore foundation. Second favorite is Maybelline Fit Me. I wear the color 20 Classic Ivory. So I stipple anywhere I need the extra coverage and you can see this color matches my skin like so well. And then I will blend it down onto my jaw and neck. I don't apply foundation under my eyes because that's where concealer goes and I don't like to layer it and make it too thick. So today I'm using the ColourPop concealer in the color Light Neutral 15. And I feel like I put too much, but I don't know, let's, let's see. I guess since I put so much on, I'll just bring it kind of like onto the top of my cheekbone and kind of highlight this area as well as cover my under eye. I don't usually do that, but I also don't usually apply that much product. So it ended up blending a lot better than I expected. I haven't used these too many times. This is probably only like my third time, so I'm still kind of figuring out the product. And I'll bring it like in my inner corner just so that this area doesn't look too shadowy. Now I'm going to set my face with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder and I'm going to use a sponge anywhere I crease, which is like my under eye area, my smile lines, and my chin. I'm a dork and I forgot I was trying to keep this look affordable, so I'm actually going to put it all over my face. The Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder or Loose Finishing Powder. It's actually an amazing powder. I just get so used to like what I use every day. And um, you can't see very well, I don't wanna spill it, but I'm using the color 10. And I'm going to blend this down onto my neck where I put like foundation as well and I just wanna make sure I blend everything really well. And I use more of like a padding motion than a sweeping motion because I don't wanna move my makeup. And I'll just kinda of sweep away the excess from under my eye where I baked it. I actually don't have many affordable blushes that are like drugstore or very low end. So I'm just gonna use one of my favorite colors. It's called Azalea in the Afternoon by MAC. This is the old mineralized packaging, but I believe it should be in the new one by now. It's like a beautiful, perfect, soft pink. So for this look, I suggest using like a more pink blush. I don't know, it just makes it cuter. And I'm using the ColourPop My Little Pony brush. So I also feel that MAC mineralized blushes just really perfect your skin because look at this glow and like this little bit of color. They're just beautiful. I'm also realizing I got a tiny bit carried away with the blush, so hopefully everything else just kind of balances it out. Let's move forward. Next, I'm going to take the ColourPop bronzer in the color... God, it's on the back of the pan. 
Let me try to pop this out. Afternoon delight. There we go. So I'm just going to use this as a very soft contour. And I'll kind of bring it along the edge of my face as well and like blend it. Just kind of bring myself back to life with some color so that I don't only look like I have on blush. <laughs> and I like to bronze along the edge of my face and kind of put a little on my chin. And I'll bring it down on my neck a little so that it's blended. And I also put it at like the tip of my nose, kind of like underneath here, not on the actual nose. And then this part is optional. I know not everyone likes to contour their nose every day, but I do. I'm going to use the ColourPop Contour Stick in Dove, and I'll very lightly go along the contours of my nose. I actually have a video on this, so I'm not going to like go into super detail, but then I will just blend it. Now I believe the only thing I didn't receive from the My Little Pony collection were the highlighters. So I'm going to use two different ColourPop highlighters because I would really like to use that kind of lavender color um, from the My Little Pony collection, but I don't have it. So I'm using Forget Me Not and Helium. And I'll just swatch these together on my hand for you. See it creates kind of a lilac-y color. So I'm going to put these two together because this one is like a blue tone and this one is pink. And I'm just going to kind of like pat them on with my finger. There we go. I like that color. And I'll put like a teeny bit on my nose just to kind of make everything even, but I don't want like a super intense nose highlight. And I'll put a little on my cupid's bow as well. Now I'm going to put on eyeshadow primer before I do my eyebrows because I don't want to mess them up by like moving this area around. So I'm going to use the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer. So actually now that I think about it, I want to do my eyeshadow before my eyebrows, so we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to take the My Little Pony palette. First of all, look how cute it is. It is perfect. I love it. It's like the most pretty palette I have. And then you open it up. The only qualm I have is I wish it had a mirror, but it's so cute in the inside and the colors are beautiful. I'm first going to take the color Butterscotch. And I'll kind of bring it down like almost to my crease, but not quite. And I'll also put it like underneath my brow here in the front. And if you want like a little extra shine specifically under the brow bone, you can just like layer it up right there a little. Next with my cute little blending brush, I'll take the color Applejack. And this is one of the My Little Pony brushes. And I'll just blend this into my crease and I'll bring it kind of high, blending it with this color that I used on my brow bone, but like up in this area, what is it called? As a transition shade. I know that this area has a name, the bridge, that's what it's called. And I'll also just place this under my eye like as the blending transition shade. Next, I'm going to take this shade called Flutterby, and I will also start putting this in my outer corner and my crease, but I'm not going to bring it as high as I did the first color. So I'll start packing this into my outer corner and dragging it into my crease. And again, I'll take that color under my eyes, and I'm only going to put it really like on the outer corner. Now I'm taking a different brush. This one is like more concentrated. It's flat, but it also is a bit fluffy. It's not like a completely flat brush. You can probably tell. And I'm going to take the color called Sky Dancer right here. This like deep kind of magenta color. And I'm going to place this right on my outer corner and drag it onto the outer part of my lid and into my crease. And then I'll also put a little bit of this on the outer corner of my lower lash line. And I just want to make sure like right here where they meet, they're blended. So now I'm going to start using my pinky finger. I do this for like every single lid color. I'm going to take the color Starshine first. It's kind of like a pinky peach shift color. 
and I'll put this on like the outer part of my lid almost towards the center. And I just realized I've been using a different eyeshadow primer with these shadows for the past few days, so it's not sticking very well. Um, I'm actually going to put a little bit of glitter glue on the eyelid. Okay, so this should be better. So from like the outer part of my lid to the middle, I'm going to put this color. Then on the center of my lid, I'm going to put this purple color. It's called Minty. You would think Minty would be like a minty color, but I'm guessing Minty the Pony was purple. So again, taking my pinky and I'm putting this right in the center. And when I apply these colors, I'm actually going to almost like blend them up into my crease. I want this look to have like a really smooth transition and not really have any lines. I'm not doing a cut crease look. So I just want to like blend it as I go. And I'll also put this color minty under my lash line on the center part. So it's going to be in a line like where the colors are. Then I'll take this color called Snuzzle. Snuzzle. It's like this kind of minty color. And I'll put that on the inner third of my lid. So when I'm blending it again, I'm going to kind of bring it up into my crease a little. And then I'll also put it under my lash line. And then lastly for the eyeshadow, I'll take a small concentrated brush in the color Firefly. It looks like a really, really light color, but it reflects kind of a mint, kind of like turquoise sparkle. So I'll place that right in my inner corner. If you are wondering why I suddenly have on mascara and eyeliner, it's because I already uploaded this video and my file decided it would be cool to become corrupted. So I'm just going to explain to you what I did because luckily I wore this look again today. So I didn't have to refilm the entire tutorial or redo my entire face. And I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see the eyeliner and mascara, but computers are not always our friend. So I'm wearing the Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner in black. And for mascara, I wore two by Maybelline, Colossal and The Rocket. Colossal is one of my OG favorites and then The Rocket is one of my new favorites works amazing on the bottom lashes and to separate the top after you put this one on, which is how I did it. So now I'm going to do lips and I decided on a color combo because the colors alone from the My Little Pony collection, none of them looked very good on me and I was like, okay, well I still wanna wear something from the collection, but like I just can't wear it alone. I decided to keep the look kind of monochromatic. I know obviously the eyes are like basically rainbow. I wanted to do a more pink lip. So I decided I would use the ColourPop Contempo Lip Liner. It's like a rosy mauve color. Then I decided to put on the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Slide and then top it off with Ponyland from the My Little Pony collection. So I overlined the crap out of my top lip. And the bottom one's fine. <laughs> And then I'll just fill my lips like ever so slightly with this. And that's just so I don't have a line that like is cut off from the lip liner to the lip color. And then these are nice and sheer. And then for the lip gloss, I'm only going to kind of put it like in the center of my lips and then blend it outward. I decided that this padding motion works really well so it doesn't like smudge the lip color everywhere. And now the look is complete and hmm, I'm having deja vu. I feel like I filmed this before. Oh wait, I did. All right guys, so you know the drill. If you are one of those people who saw the video before like the ending was in it, I'm so sorry. I just don't know what happened. I didn't even know. I just figured that the video was good and uploaded it. So I'm sorry about that, but thank you so much to those of you who waited patiently. If you liked this video and this look, please give it a thumbs up for me. Please subscribe to me if you haven't already. I would appreciate it very much. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.